Run Collector. What's going on, guys? Another quick one, another quick retro mix over here. Another retro quick. Show you guys what's going on with some of how you should organize your files and folders when you're going to use the USB loader GX. All right, guys, how you going to organize your folders so you can put your files in there, the stuff you downloaded, the stuff you copy to clean your rip. However, you got your games, I'll show you guys how to put it. Don't forget to follow the channel, don't forget to check out the videos on the channel. Most of them are on Nintendo Wii stuff. I'll show you guys how to mod it up. And most of them, some of them are on my PC gaming that I do with my Dell Optiplex and my GTX 1080. Today I'll be playing Elder, Elden Ring later on today. I know it's a late start to my journey, but hey, I just finally got the game the other day. It took me like two hours to get it running. But all right, guys, let's focus back on the Nintendo Wii stuff. All right, guys, right now I'm going to show you guys how my... My hard drive, my one terabyte hard drive looks like I uh, organize my files and folders. All right, guys, we're going to zoom in and we're going to look here. We have here we have the hard drive. And if you look at the hard drive, if we go to properties on the hard drive, you're going to see that it's fat 32 guys. That is the most important thing you guys need to do. Make sure it's fat 32. Anything, any hard drive, SD card. Uh, flash drive that I never recommend to use do not try to use flash drives use a USB SD card adapter and use that that's what I when I sell my Wii's and when I do my stuff that's how I give the customers I give them a, a USB adapter with a micro SD card or SD card whatever I get you know at the time but make sure it's fat 32 anything over 32 gigs is gonna be harder for you to just to just uh, format it to FAT32 through uh, through Windows, you're gonna have to either download a program or you're gonna have to do it a different type of way through the computers. You can still do it through Windows, but you have to do it through like the back side of it. All right, guys, make sure FAT32. I have a one terabyte hard drive over here that I'm using. Okay, guys, and in this hard drive, I made three folders. Well, two folders, and one of them was made for me. The saves folder is gonna be made by itself. The games folder. It's where I keep all my GameCube games. I named the game Games Folder. And inside of it, I have all my GameCube games. And basically, I have the name of the game, a folder with the name of the game. And inside of it, I have the ISO that I downloaded, that uh, downloaded or I copied, downloaded or I copied the disk image, the ISO file. And it's there. All you have to do is right click it, you rename it, and you rename all your games or your GameCube games to games. That's why I told you guys in some of my videos. If GameCube games, you have to be careful because if you download a bunch of them at a time or you copy a bunch of them at a time, you're going to have a bunch of ISO files. Make sure you make yourself the name of the game, make yourself a name of the game folder, and inside that, put the ISO file and then just rename that file games. All right, guys? Not game ISOs. I know I wrote that in my comments. I was trying to tell you, you don't have to do that. That's why I'm making this video to make sure I clarify everything and you guys can get all your stuff running. All right, guys. The saves folder is going to be made by itself. Once you start saving saving some games, when you play GameCube games and you save the, you know, your, your passage, it's going to save the games. The WBFS folder is going to be basically all the Wii games. And inside of there, I have a WBFS folder with a folder with the name of the game, the game code with the brackets, inside the game code dot WBFS. No spaces between that. That could make it not work too. Make sure there's no spaces. Just erase the name of the game. And you guys need to get you guys need to get the RJ. You need to guys get the game code without some of these game code files. The games won't play. How I got my game code files, a lot of times I would download a game and it wouldn't have it. What either you can do is you can go on Google and Google game files, game code files for the Wii games and you can get them. You just have to make sure they're for the right region, they're for United States, whatever it is, whatever the game you do. Or the easier way you can try to do is you can use Wii Backup Manager and just make use Wii Backup Manager to transfer your files to the hard drive you're going to use to play the games and it'll do from ISO 
to WBFS. It'll format it for you and it'll give you the game code and everything. So I'll show you a couple of videos with the Wii Backup Manager, guys. It's very handy, I'm saying truly handy, especially when you're trying to see. Somebody told me today that some of the games don't play. You have to make sure. I would say download Wii, Back Wii Backup Manager and get some of those games you downloaded or you have and try to transfer using Wii Backup Manager to another hard drive. And if, if Wii Backup Manager does not recognize them, it doesn't add them for you to click on them and select them to transfer them somewhere, you're gonna have an issue it's either a bad file, bad game, or unfortunately, not a playable situation, buddy. All right, guys, hopefully this works. This helps you guys a little bit. Remember, guys, games, inside games, name of the folder and name of the game the folder and inside of that folder the actual game name game all right guys WBFS WBFS folder name of the game game code brackets inside game code dot WBFS all right guys we backup manager does all this for you so all right guys appreciate you guys I'll be playing some Oh, sorry, guys. I'll be playing some uh, Elden Ring today, so don't forget to subscribe to the channel and check it out. I'll be going live in a couple hours. But back to Nintendo Wii, guys. Hopefully, this helps. I'll see you guys next time. Don't forget to subscribe. I've been working hard, yeah, I've been working nightly If you think you'll win, ha, not fucking likely I be taking shots, yeah, cold-blooded, icy Watching numbers grow is what I call sightseeing In the front row, run it up when they hype me The following grows, they know how to ignite me Call me CEO, I've been running shit right, see And I ain't playing games, I create my own lane Making pleasure out of pain, uh Turning losses into gains, I'm the boss, I'm making change I've been rocking this exchange